Hi everyone, welcome back to the Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I wanted to share with you one little thing that was very illuminating for me. It gave me a real aha moment and I thought I have to share this with you guys. Okay, so what is it? And I probably won't take too long. I'll keep an eye on the time. This is a short one. Basically, I've been studying tarot on the side. Now, tarot is a wonderful system, 78 cards in the deck. I've got one of these right here. The one I'm going to show you is this one that I've been using. Hang on, focus on that. Here we go. This is the one I've been using and it's so wonderful. Um, 78 cards, I've been studying them. What do they mean? How does this stuff work? I've had readings done before that have been really, really good. And I thought, you know what? Just for fun, I want to study this thing too. So I've been studying it as well. And in this system, it really follows astrology quite closely. So there's a card for every sign, right? So we've got the emperor here. Okay, so we're going to focus on him. Here we go. The emperor. Now the emperor represents Aries. Okay. All right. What's Taurus? Taurus, the Hierophant. Hang on. Here we go. Should focus. Hierophant, so you can see the card, getting a feel for what's going on here. And instead of me showing you every single sign, why don't we just scoot right up to Capricorn? What's representing Capricorn, right? Now, this is something that interests me because, I mean, look at how many planets we've got in Capricorn right now. We've got the big heavy movers going through Capricorn. This is a very important time in history. Capricorn, get this, here it is, drum roll please. I don't know if I can find a drum roll, but I'll do my best. Capricorn is represented by the devil. So I'm gonna bring this up, have a look at this card. By the way, apologies for the, the nudity on this card. Whoops, I should, have, I should have put a, this show is rated M for mature audiences. But seriously, I mean, does that not explain a lot of stuff, what's going on right now? I think it does, right? I think if anyone was confused after seeing this, you'll be like, oh, well, it all makes sense now. So because we had Saturn move into Capricorn, sidereal Vedic astrology, Feb of this year, when it all really kicked off, right? So this is going to keep going until now the end of this. And this is the beautiful part. This is the good bit. What follows Capricorn? Aquarius, right? And which card represents Aquarius. I'm so happy to announce it's this beautiful card here. Wait, come on, focus. Here we go. The star. This is one of the best cards to get in a reading, right? If you get this card upright, that is just fantastic. That is what you want. The star is a beautiful card. In it, there's healing. There's um, hopes, dreams, and wishes coming true. Of course, that's that's very much Aquarius. And I'll read you this one little line um, from, this is a wonderful website called biddytarot.com that has all the meanings. And I'm sure if any of you have looked up meanings, you would have probably come to this website. Um, it says here, as the star follows the tower card. Okay, well, she's got it after the tower card, but this is definitely representing Capricorn. Uh, but okay, she's got it as, as the star follows the tower. Anyway, this is the bit I wanted to read you. It says here, it comes as a welcome reprieve after a period of destruction and turmoil. You may have endured, you, well, you have endured many challenges and stripped yourself bare of any limiting beliefs that have previously held you back. I mean, really, moving through this period, we are clearing out... Um, just the ugly stuff that we don't need anymore. And, and it's that thing of what Louise Hay explains, that when you're washing a really dirty pan, the gunk and the junk comes up to the surface. And as Michaela Sheldon says, if you're seeing it, you're healing it, right? So we are seeing a lot of unpleasantness. There is a lot of destruction, bad stuff, especially we're going to have Saturn Pluto moving through this area. There's going to be more um, things that you know we'd really rather not happen or see, but it, it's healing, and we're going to have a, a time of healing come as well. So, I mean, I've got the best um, hopes and wishes for when Saturn moves into 
Aquarius. But I'll be making more videos about this as we go along. Okay, but this was just one little thing that I wanted to share with you really quickly. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Um, as always, please like, please share, subscribe, comment, do all the nice stuff. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Just very quickly, I can confirm that the tower is the card that does follow the devil. So we've got the devil and then we do have the tower card. So I'll just focus on that. And that comes directly after the devil card. So this is all manner of change, destruction, accidents, um, huge transformation, everything going upside down. So, I mean, number wise, we've got 15, the devil, 16, the tower. Whoops, hang on, try and focus on that. There we go. So we've got that going on. Uh, as Saturn moves through Capricorn, I believe. And I do think that we've got healing coming up after that. So yeah, but as I learn this system, I'll share more with you and hopefully start even using these to do some pick a card readings as well. Um, don't know when I'll get around to that. I've got so many things to do, so many things to create. Um, I will be making the website live again for those of you who want to book readings. So please do come along, keep me busy. I'm really enjoying this. So that was it. That was all I wanted to add.